What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to remove Trojan virus on your windows if it is there. So let me directly get into the step. So the first one is all about we just need to go over here search for virus and threat protection and you have to click on this one. That's what we have to do and the first and foremost step is all about we could just scroll down over here and you can see we have to click on the quick scan which is going to take a little bit of time. So what it's going to do is it is going to cross check every single file of a game and if any kinds of uh, you know uh, malware is there if any kind of thing is there they'll be going to show you and they're going to take few steps and that's what we have to do as the first one and once after in the meantime let this get processed in between so we have to go over here under the virus and threat protection you can go for manage settings and over here we need to make sure the real-time production is turned it on day drive production is turned it on and cloud delivered production is turned it on including the automatic sample submission everything should be selected turned on over here and once afterwards what we need to do is even afterwards we just need to go back over here you can just go back over here and directly navigate to virus and to protection and now over here what we need to do is we just need to check for the production updates if any kind of updates are there just go for updates so it is going to do a cross check as well they're going to go for any kind of updates and if any kind of updates are there they're going to show you they wanted to update it in between so you can just update it and also go back over here in the quick scan and you have to check what we find and right now as it says there is no threat so far and they have cross check around 12,924 files and we don't have any issue with this. This is what we have to do as the basic step. And apart from this, we can use a third party antivirus in order to fix the issue. So what I'm gonna do is just go over here in the Google Chrome, you can search for malware byte download. So just go over here in the malware bytes download. As you can see, it is actually free and also there is other pricing as well, but I'm going to download the free download. Once it's successfully downloaded, what we are going to do is we're gonna use it again. So we are going to uh, use it completely and uh, we have to check what it's going to be like. So right now it's getting downloaded over here. So it is not going to take much amount of time. So once the malware bytes are successfully installed over here, you can just open the particular file over here and quickly go for the setup and install this particular one. So what I'm recommending, you can use any kind of third party antivirus programs in order to find the issues, but I'm recommending to use the malware byte setup. So just go for install. And right now you can go for the personal purpose I'm using. It's not, you can uh, skip this, click on skip this, not recommended. And right now it is going to do a slight amount of, uh, you know, it is getting installed. And after it's successfully installed, we can just do a scan with this particular one. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So let me skip this part. So you guys want to successfully install, just go for open malware bytes. And what happens is it is going to, you can do a scanning using this. So right now, let me go for the scan now over here. So it is going to scan it and we just going to take a bit of time. So what it's going to do is if any kind of threat is issues out there, they're going to show you what you have to do. So that's what you have to do. This is how you can find any kind of Trojan virus on your windows. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.